Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to create a J panel that is another GUI component of your Swing toolkit in Java programming language. So first, let us understand what is a J panel. J panel is a generic lightweight container in Java Swing that is used to organize and group other component inside a window. So to create a J panel, you must have a J frame first. And then you will add your J panel on your J frame. So this is the example we have discussed in our previous video session. So guys, if you have not watched our previous video session in order to create a frame, so please watch it first, then only you will understand this program. So this part we have discussed in our previous video session. Now I will help you how to create a J panel on the J frame. So I will just close this one and I will tell you how to create a J panel. So J panel is another lightweight container that can be added on the J frame. So how will you create a J panel? So simply you will use a class J panel and you will create an object of it. Panel is equal new J panel. So this panel is created, right? So this J panel class is again present inside Java X dot swings package, or this is the way how to create a panel. Now, whatever the component you will create, like J panel we have created, we have to add this component on the J frame. So how will you add your component on the J frame? Simply you will call a method add or inside the J frame, you will add your panel. So what we are doing here, adding a panel to the J frame. So we can say J frame. So first we have created a frame, right? After this, you are creating a panel or using a add method, you are adding your panel on the frame. So let us run this and you will see what is the output of it. So here we go, you can see this is a uh, my frame, but you can't see the panel is created or not. So by default, a panel is not visible on the frame. To make it visible, you need to set the properties such as background color or border of a panel. So how will you set the background color of a panel? So simply you will use a method panel dot set background or inside it, you can add a color dot red, for example. So let us run this and you will see what is the output of it. Here we go. You can see your frame has added a panel and your panel color is the red and your panel is covering the complete dimension, complete dimension of your frame, right? So this is a panel, how to create a panel. So panel is again a small container right, where you can add some other components, you can organize other components. So let me help you to understand what is the difference between J frame and J panel. So what is the difference between J frame and J panel? J frame is used to create a window where other components can be added. And you can see what are the characteristics of your J frame. J frame can exist independently. It contains windows, decorations like title bar, close, minimize, and maximize buttons. Frame can be resized, moved, minimized, and maximized. Frame has a methods like set default close operations, set visible methods. And this is typically used to create the main application window or a dialog. Or by default, you know very well, if you are working on your any GUI components. So all the GUI components has a layout manager. So by default, the frame layout is the border layout and I will discuss about it. What is the border layout also? And what is the layout manager? Let us come to the J panel. So J panel is used to organize and group components within a container. It has the characteristics like it doesn't exist independently it means to create a J panel you must create a J frame and over it, you can add your J panel, right? So it doesn't have any window decorations like minimize, maximize, and close button. It is used for layout management, layout management and organized components. 
or it can be nested within other panel means you can create a nesting panels also and you can see the default layout manager of the flow layout so you know very well the frame is again a window that is a main window that is a main container or its layout manager is border layout and again j panel is a small lightweight container that can help us to organize or group component and its default layout manager is flow layout so let me help you to understand what is border layout and flow layout so here you can see what is the border layout so border layout is what you can see here a border layout layout a container arranging and resizing its component to fit into five regions so what is the general meaning of layout manager layout manager help us to arrange and resize your component on the container and border layout have the five different regions the first one is the north south east west and center and we have different constants in order to set your component on the j frame like north south east west and center or here you can see this is a kind of a frame that have the five different locations like east west north south and center where you can add your component on the j frame so j frame by default layout manager is the border layout let us understand what is a flow layout flow layout is another type of layout which align or which arranges the component in a direction flow much like a lines of text in a paragraph so if you remember to write your line of text inside a paragraph from the extreme top left corner to the right from the left to right so default direction is from left to right but if you would like to set the different directions you can set using a constant like right to left so you don't worry about it what are the different layout managers but you have to remember the uh, frame layout is the border layout and uh, the panel layout manager is the flow layout right so if you will see the output of the programs right if you will see the output of the programs let me just switch to the uh, output of the program you can see here we have created a frame and by default by default the frame layout is the border layout and we have added a small component on it that is a j panel this j panel is covering the complete border of your frame right complete it is covering complete border of your frames okay so you will also learn how to set the different layouts or how will you set your layout is null also right so guys i hope you understand how to create a j panel on the j frame in the next section or in the next video session i will show you how to create the multiple panels on the j frame and how to set the layout of a j frame and the j panel also guys thank you for watching i hope you understand how to create j panels so if you like this video so please sub subscribe the channel like the videos and write your feedback in the comment section thank you bye bye have a great day